Good morning. It's Tuesday, March 29th at 9.30 a.m. Would you mind arising and joining me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Start with a prayer, please. Heavenly Father, we beseech your divine guidance in this meeting. Keep us ever mindful of our obligations. Grant us, dear Lord, wisdom, tolerance, and courage that we may well serve our county and fulfill our trust. Amen. 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 All right. Also, mindful, uh, if you could mind, a little announcement. Today is National Vietnam Veterans Day. Uh, this is where we get, express our perpetual gratitude for heroic service. It's the 50th anniversary of that. So just um, mindful, everybody, that's a national holiday. And, uh, thank, thank a veteran. So, with that, uh, we do have uh, agenda here. Uh, minutes. I'd like to m <clears throat> make a motion to approve the minutes from March 22nd. Second. Moved and second. Any changes? Discussion? Roll call, please. Swedek. Yes. Hudson. Yes. Campbell. Yes. All right. Next. Any public comments regarding our pending resolutions? Hearing none, we'll go back into our resolutions. Dan Becker with uh, County Engineer's Office. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. Oh, that snow, huh? Keep me busy. Yeah, so really. But <laughs> you're going to get rid of it tomorrow, right? Yes, it's gone. I, I, I hear it's going to get warmer, so it just kind of works yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, I've got uh, two resolutions for your consideration today. The first resolution is approving the final plat for the Village of Hinkley Oaks subdivision. And the second resolution is allowing us uh, to participate with the ODOT uh, winter contract for salt delivery. And then we've got our weekly permits. I'll make a motion to approve the two resolutions. Second. Move second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Hambly? Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Excellent. Thanks. Next, uh, Jeremy Sinko, our sanitary engineer. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Jeremy. Uh, three resolutions for consideration today. The first is authorizing the transfer of funds between various sanitary engineer funds and county funds. The second is accepting and awarding the bid for the sanitary sewer main extension Ryan Road easement project that went to Medina excavating at just under 134000 And the third is a resolution authorizing a one-year extension of the contract for the hauling and disposal of cake biosolids, DAF float, and hauling of liquid waste activated sludge. I'll make a motion to approve the three resolutions. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? The third one sounds really exciting. Yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <sounds good. laughs> Biosolids are very important. Uh, <laughs> uh, roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, we have Nicole Lee, Human Resources uh, Assistant. Good morning. Good morning, Nicole. So I have four resolutions for you today. I have our um, personnel changes resolution. We have one new hire at JFS, one promotion at JFS, two rate increases at JFS and sanitary, one leave of absence at county home, and run resignation at JFS. The second resolution is approving the wage increases for the Medina County public transit drivers. The third resolution is amending the table of organization for the Medina County IT department. And then my fourth resolu resolution is amending the table of organization for the Department of Job and Family Services. I'll make a motion to approve the four resolutions. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? I'll, I'll just say I'm particularly happy mm -hmm. to see the uh, wage adjustments for our, our transit drivers. Uh, they've actually been uh, quite lower, low, uh, frankly, given what's going on in the market, but likewise the responsibility of these individuals the safety and uh, the skill and their caring of, the, uh, of uh, their passengers is very important. I'm glad we're able to bump up the rate accordingly. So with that, roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Hambly? Yes. Okay. And then also included in your packet, we have tentative agreements for the sanitary engineer, and mm -hmm. we'll be putting those on resolutions next, next week for your approval. So okay. these are just for our review? Until next week. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Nicole. Thank you. Next, we have uh, Debbie Kiley with Job and Family S Services. Good morning. Good morning, Debbie. 
uh, five resolutions for your consideration this morning. Uh, the first is uh, providing clerk of court services um, pursuant to our 4D program and contract. Uh, the next is providing service of process also with our Title 4D program contract. The following is uh, providing the prosecutor's attorney services for the Title 4D program. Providing the prosecutor's extradition services, part of, again of the Title 4D program. And lastly, the prosecutor's investigative services, also part of the 4D program. I'll make a motion to approve the five resolutions. Second. Moved and second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Hambly? Yes. Thank you. Thanks, Deb. That was easy. Voluminous, <laughs> but easy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Scott Miller, County Administrator. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Scott. Good morning. I have, uh, I don't know, one, and four, six, seven, seven resolutions for you today. Um, I'm going to do them separately. The first one is going to be on behalf of the uh, Atlanta Economic Development Corporation. And this is approving a community investment area agreement and a uh, community reinvestment area compensation agreement for Akron Madonna Corporate Park number two. Uh, this is for a $3.2 million investment in a 35,756 square foot building that should create 30 new positions with an estimated payroll of about one and a half million, an average of $50,000 per uh, employee um, with a core tax exemption of up to 15 years. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Moved and second, any discussion? Roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Hambly? Yes. Okay. And then the uh, six resolutions for finance. Uh, first resolution is amending the appropriation measure. The second resolution is authorizing the distribution of the sales tax to the various local schools in Medina County. Full dis distribution is $4,507,447.94. Mm. The third resolution is allowing expenses of the adult probation department. Uh, the fourth is allowing expenses of the Medina County engineer. The fifth is approving um, allo allowing expenses of other county officials. And the final resolution is authorizing the payment of the bills in the amount of $1,136,530.28. I'll make a motion to approve the six resolutions. Second. Moved and second. Any discussions? I'm, uh, I'm glad to see that our sales tax revenue is still strong. Yes. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, awesome. yeah. And supporting our local school districts. Um, also, I think, is this the first time that we've had Black River and Rittman and Norway on mm -hmm. our resolution? Mm -mm. No. Uh, has it been no. on in the past? Yeah. Because yeah. I know the law was expanded to allow us to include those. Well, the, they were included, but as how they could spend the money. Uh, okay. They could use it for buses and textbooks. But uh, a couple of years ago, Daryl Kick and I sponsored uh, a bill and then added as an amendment that allowed them to use it for facilities within their district, particularly Black River, because right. it's just over the border. So they were able to actually use it for a wall that was actually had uh, uh, tornado damage and was <laughs> going to fall over. And of course, they were scraping around for money, and this obviously provides that. So, but it, now they they expanded their bill to use it, but they've received normally based upon their uh, full time enrollment. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, but anyway, okay. Any other discussion? <laughs> Roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Hambly? Yes. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Scott. Okay. Thanks. All right. We have a commissioner's resolution. We have reappointing a member to the Medina County Advisory Council on Aging and Disability. Uh, this uh, comes to the attention of the Board of Commissioners of the term for Joan Weagle, or Weagle uh, Township Trustee, representative number four on the Advisory Council. Uh, expire uh, March 31st, 2022. Uh, this uh, reappoints her uh, for the term expiring March 31st, 2025. I will make a motion to approve. Second. Move to second. Any discussion? Uh, Joan has done a great job yes. um, in yeah. the past, and uh, I'm glad she's willing to be reappointed. Oh, indeed. Oh, yeah. Roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Campbell? Yes. Okay. And we also have uh, the commissioners wish to recommend the following 25 students for being selected as members of the 2022 Spring Leadership Ball in service to feeding Medina County. Grace Vera Rose Bassham, uh, Elizabeth Marie uh, Camera, uh, Carice Elizabeth Coleman, Mariah M Emily Davis, Madeline Rose uh, 
Dayton, Kaylee Pearl Ethington, Caitlin Marie Fortuna, Mara Estelle uh, Gertzak, Peyton Lynn Johnson, Reese Autumn Lloyd, Eliana Florence Metter, Rebecca Nugent, uh, Georgia Ann Nielsen, Olivia Reese Ortiz, Morgan Kareen uh, Otterbacher, Madison Elizabeth Roth, uh, Ashley Rose Resson, uh, Olivia Sue Rose, Olivia Ann Rudd, Megan Grace uh, Sawitzke, I'm not sure how to spell <laughs> that one's, uh, uh, Nora Jean Sublet, Isabel Ann Vine, uh, Laura, Lauren Grace Vincek, Faith Rihanna Wabe, Lucy Grace West. Uh, and we have uh, obviously commendations uh, addressed to those individuals and congratulations. Are we voting on this? I will make a motion to approve. I, I don't think we were. I think we don't have to uh, vote just on this? Okay. This is just commendations. Yeah. Got it. So this is to recognize them uh, publicly in our meeting. So. Okay. Right. Um, open for public comment. Open public. Okay. Move forward. Open up uh, for discussion. Scott, do you have anything? I do. I'll give you a quick update on the courthouse. Um, we are about 27% complete. Wow. Um, so it is moving along. Um, the concrete uh, should be completed by the end of next week. Um, the this is the flooring? This is the flooring. The floor decking. Yeah, right. the floor yeah. decking. Okay. Yeah. Uh, exteriors, its studs should be completed by the end of April. Um, I believe next week, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but they've got the first story, and mm -hmm. uh, Steve and I were talking today, and next week I think they're going to start putting up the second and third. It's going to be all one piece, so it's going to be pretty impressive. The uh, facade is going to start sometime around April 14th. Um, the actual framing is going to start on the 12th on the first floor. Um, and we are still on schedule to move uh, for the completion on December 1st of this year. So are we are serious? moving along. Mm -hmm. So they've, 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 uh, Gilbane has done a phenomenal job for us, uh, keeping us on schedule. Uh, making up for lost time with some of the design changes that we had. Mm -hmm. um, so they so we could really potentially nice be ribbon cutting in 2022. Mm -hmm. wow. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So all we've got, um, and as I think I mentioned last week, we made some pretty significant changes to the uh, domestic relations court in the 1841 of the design where we added uh, some bathrooms on the third floor because under the original design there weren't any bathrooms for the public. So we've got a men's, a women's, and a family bathroom on the third floor now. Um, so they've, they've, that price um, or those changes obviously increased the cost. Um, so we went, I think we were at 700,000 something last week, or 800,000. We're now at a million sixty-nine of contingency used. So we still have 567,000, um, mm -hmm. almost 568,000 dollars remaining, um, which as far along as we are in the project, that's really good because everything on the new courthouse is done. It's, it's finalized mm -hmm. as far as the plans and the, the bids. So the um, we, we still have 567000 for any unknowns in the 1841. So, so we're really moving along and doing well. Um, the uh, furniture, we, we met with a company last week. We're meeting with another company um, on Thursday um, to talk to them about furniture. Um, they're sharpening their pencils, getting to us, and then once we get those um, changes in, we'll make a decision on what company we're gonna go with. Um, I talked to some of the judges about their offices. Um, they surprised me in the configuration that they would like, but I think we're, we're moving along. So once we, once we have the furniture company selected, we'll go ahead, we'll design the furniture layout once that's done. We'll go to the judges and, and the courts and say this is what we're this is what we have. Do you need anything additional? Is there anything that you don't like that you want, want to change? And we'll get the input at that time. So, so we've got that. The other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, obviously the war bond building. Um, oh, yes. So, um, I believe Matt um, is no longer with Main Street. I think he's moved on to yes. a different position. Mm -hmm. Um, but I know that he had some agreements in place for cement pads and for the act actually doing some renovations or some on, on the building itself uh, through volunteers. So I'd like to um, kind of pick up where he left off, but 
I need to know kind of where the building's going to go, um, <laughs> and if anybody's had any well, discussions. We so. all received the letter from yes, the, the yes. Historical Society. Right. So I talked to Brian, and, okay. and, and, and he was waiting to get his yeah. last board member. Right. Uh, so they obviously have voted to uh, to accept it. If we want uh, to go there. If we want it to go there. I've talked to the fair uh, board folks. They're, yeah. they're okay with it going right. to um, McDonald's. 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 I, I had an off-the-cuff suggestion yesterday, actually, and I wanted to I just go ahead and present it, throw it out there. Uh, I just wondered, given the, the configuration of the building, it's such a small footprint, uh, actually whether we might want to look to invest in a small profile trailer that we could actually move that. It could be stored like during... Like Yeah, somewhat like <laughs> that. Exactly. The use for those purposes, limited movement, but one that actually could then find a location during experience of the past could do it as part of here. It could go out during the fair and be part of a display. Likewise, it could have other places. They could actually have a, a, a place, a, a nice pad and so forth over at McDowell Phillips. So actually it makes it much more, I guess, possible to be used. And maybe even since this original location was on the square, there might even be the opportunity to do something out on the square Where temporarily. Where would we store it? Well, and that's, well, actually they have a barn over at the, uh, at the Historical Society. I know eventually they're talking about they have to tear uh, that, demolishing. They have to tear that yeah. down, yeah. down because okay. it's unstable. Yeah. Got uh, it. But Got I it. think they're going to talk about building something else. So yeah. uh, what they were going to do is, is um, Put it yeah, receive it right. and, and mm -hmm. keep it on the skid. Got it. So they can move it around until they got all their landscaping and everything done okay. behind. Right. And then uh, have a permanent foundation. So right. Um, so I, I, I think I, don't know. I, I think it's not a good idea. Yeah, yeah, okay. But my, I, I can tell you that at least from the front standpoint, yeah, it's too wide. And oh, my okay. guess Got is it. from a depth standpoint, right? Um, if it's if it's uh, ten feet or more, you have to have a per special permit to haul it down the road. Ah, uh, okay. All right. And so okay. I, All right. I just, I, and then we'd probably have to have somebody. That knows would move how to it, haul right, something that well, have it on a permanent road, frame. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, I, I, I'm okay. not sure. I think it's a good idea, but I'm not sure that that okay. would work. Okay, but I, I, I kind of generally agree. If we can give it to the custody of the, the historical society, they're willing to take that. Obviously, they can. Uh, uh, yeah. I think it fits Find their mission. Spots. Right, and, and they could actually have some events uh, right. staged around it. So yeah. Okay. And, and it does kind of fit with McDowell Phillips yes. in terms of well, in way, sure. the history and. Right. The, the, the building's purpose. Oh, and so forth. It, it, yeah. Well, I, I generally agree. I think it's a bit better than maybe in the location over here right. uh, across from the parking deck. Okay, so I'll work with Brian yeah. on okay. um, the getting it moved over there and the timing and the cement pad and, and everything that we need to do. Sure. And do okay. you want me to look into what it would take to put it on a trailer or do you want to just make it that idea? I, 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 first of all, I guess I just measure it, see how wide it is. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I mean, just from my Well, it's going to have to be moved anyway, so I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm right. like, okay, yeah. I guess you can kind of twice. explore that. <laughs> it's yeah. another thing to haul around the county. <laughs> I, well, I wasn't just going in parades like you did with the bell. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but I thought, like, okay, if there's I some events, the like, you have the ability to to move, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. maybe it might... And then with, the, with, with those kind of skirting that you can put around those things and making sure that it's secure, it, it might make some sense to, to have it available. But uh, I agree that, the, that, that all that I have to consider, but at this point, putting on the custody of the Historical Society, Medina County Historical Society, makes the most sense. Yeah. And they can kind of look and see what the opportunities might be uh, to, for its eventual uh, display, either uh, you know, mo movable or permanent display. So, Are we going to donate it to the Historical Society? No, I don't think they So you want to hold, <laughs> we want to hold I, I, I think they want the county to keep it so that the county can maintain it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. So, Stephen, put that on your list of uh, we, facility assets. How, <laughs> however, we do subsidize them. Uh, we do. And, okay, and they are we part do. of the county historical site and charter, so, okay, I guess we can work, work through the I, details. I, 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 think, right. I think that their, their uh, concept was, though, that the county would, would retain the responsibility. Okay. Right. All right. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thanks, All right. Scott. Cool. All right. Um, Jeremy? You always have something. Something interesting, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, real quick, um, so uh, the city of Medina is going to be reconstructing South Prospect Street between Smith Road oh, okay. and South Lafayette, or Lafayette Street there. Mm -hmm. 
So there's an existing sanitary sewer that runs in the middle of the street. <clears throat> there's three manholes. Mm -hmm. We televised the sewer main. There is some need for repair. The laterals actually protrude into the main, meaning that we can't line it. So we budget 500000 for a rehab job every year. Mm -hmm. This would just be our rehab job for that. Mm -hmm. So we would have to do a MOU with the city. Basically, the city would bid the job we would just piggyback off of it and at the end of the job they invoice us the amount and then we would just go ahead and pay for that so that it, it is estimated to be about three fifty four hundred so what is actually going to happen what's the the reconstruct the reconstruction of it or? yeah they would they're going to reconstruct the road and then they would replace the sewer main the laterals under the pavement oh the laterals and Got it. The, and the manholes so everything would be it would be all new plastic all right. under their new okay. road Got it. So, Got it. Okay. As long as you're okay with that, we'll start working. And that's with consistent with how we've done it. With we've, oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah we've sure. done, we worked with them on South Broadway, and we've also right. done projects with the uh, Village of Chippewa. So. Right. Got it. So, no. Perfect. Sure. All right. That, that was easy. Wow. An easy one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen, you have anything? No. Okay. John? Anything for discussion? All right. Anything, uh, board, the board here? Phil? Um, one thing I forgot to mention, I'd like to thank uh, Judge Collier, Kimbler, and uh, Don for working to get the uh, DR court situated. Um, it, uh, it is very helpful that we, we have them on board and get them to make decisions and, and, um, and make that space good for the next judge. A um, couple other things. Uh, from a one Ohio standpoint, uh, Mike Lyons has drafted um, a uh, intergovernmental agreement um, and, and it's beginning to circulate that it was, um, uh, there was another county prosecutor that was involved, and I forget who, but at any rate, uh, to circulate that amongst the Region 19 uh, counties. Mm -hmm. And um, um, so we are making progress on it, but it is slow. Right. But it okay. is coming along. Okay. So th is this in, in, intergovernmental agreement between the counties or with all jurisdictions that actually are eligible for the use of those dollars? Just our region. So well, I mean, I meant within region. the county, within the, that region, is it just the county governments? Or is it also no, involved the municipalities no. so, and so, villages? So uh, the, the, the first townships. round will go to the counties. Got it. And once there's some agreement, then it'll be sent out to the, the city's the, villages okay. to, to get their input and, and buy in. It, it's really a very, um, I mean, it's only six, seven, eight pages long. It's not okay. real detailed. Right. Um, because the, the regions won't have any money. That's correct, but they, they make they recommendations. They are simply going to right. receive yeah. proposals, mm -hmm. and so the, the, the main board will select an evaluation board, and um, the evaluation board will actually evaluate the, the individual proposals, submit them to the, the, the full board, which will then approve them and send them to Columbus. So but th this is the initial way to screen the uh, project or the proposals. Correct. For funding, but just make recommendations to the state one Ohio board. Right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and the nonprofit one Ohio board because it will not be. Right, well, yeah, I understand. Well, no, that's, that's <laughs> but, but yes. That's so, been very so, anyhow, just yeah. want to give okay. you an update on that. Thank and you. and then uh, on April 22nd, um, there is the shared cluster breakfast. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. At 7 30 or mm -hmm. 8 o'clock, mm -hmm. and then also a Farm Bureau breakfast. Oh, uh, yeah. Policy okay. committee breakfast. Right. So, mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to, sh to throw it out there and see if we wanted to split up and. Um, because I, we'll I had to originally yeah. indicated to to uh, Brian that uh, I would go to the share cluster, sure, and then sure. the Farm Bureau invitation came in, and I That's think right. we ought to have representation on sure. both. So, agreed. Agreed. Uh, I would volunteer to go to the Farm Bureau. All right, if I'll go to share cluster then. Okay, well, and I get to go either way. You can go either way, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's all I have. Thank you. All right. No, good. Thanks, uh, Colleen. Yeah, we had the EMA board meeting last week, and Mike Lyons, very busy man. And mm -hmm. Our county, um, so he's going to do some historical research and make some recommendations to the board on the direction of makeup that we should head. So he's going to put together some proposals and get back to us. Very good. Good. Okay. Good. Anything else? That's it. All right. Uh, I don't have anything. Um, all right. Well, I guess I entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Move and second. Roll call, please. Swedek? Yes. Hudson? Yes. Gambly? Yes. Everybody have a good day. And uh, tomorrow at 930, there will be a Vietnam Veterans uh, co uh, Commemoration at the Memorial, 930 in the morning.